In search of family, River visited Terminus Prime where clients could choose their own means of demise and found a cult of proto-time lords, cloned from her by Covarian at Demon's Run, regularly using the facility led by Lake. Lake had become obsessed with his immortality and experimented on other proto-time lords' regenerations. River worked with a recently regenerated proto-time lord, Lily, to stop him. After he shot Lily, River killed Lake who regenerated into Lily. After burying Lily, who she believed to be the last of her siblings, River summoned an incarnation of the Doctor to take a break with. The fifth Doctor responded and introduced her to his current companion, Brooke, to River's surprise as she'd never heard of her. Audio, The Lady in the Lake, River had several adventures with the fifth Doctor and Brooke, who she did not know, including their visit to Gadalax Prime. The Doctor took River and Brooke to 18th century Venice where they investigated the mystery surrounding Mozart's final piece, discovering Aqua Galatia had been sold among disgruntled wives to kill their husbands. River became suspicious of Brooke who was increasingly jealous of River. Brooke spiked the Doctor's tea with Aqua Galatia and attempted to use it to assassinate him but River neutralized it with her love for the Doctor. Audio. A Requiem for the Doctor. She and the Doctor forced Brooke to take them to where she was meeting her employer the bumptious gastropod, a restaurant outside space-time where the rules of causality did not apply. Horrified to discover Brooke's employer was Madame Covarian, River used her lipstick to erase Brooke's memories of meeting her and told her she just killed the doctor and then sent the fifth doctor away with his memory wiped. She planned to infiltrate the restaurant to get revenge on Covarian but was thwarted when the fifth doctor immediately returned and was noticed by Covarian. River kidnapped and dressed Andrew Edwardson in the doctor's clothes as an attempt to save the doctor from Covarian's new plot to kill him. However, River was convinced by Maitre D that this was immoral and something the doctor would not approve of. Whilst River was caught up in increasingly complex timeline of events, Brooke found and killed the true doctor using regeneration inhibitors to prevent further regenerations. In fury, River shot Brooke, who simply regenerated, and was taken captive by Covarian. Audio. My dinner with Andrew. Back in her old childhood prison in Concord Well, she discovered that Madame Covarian had created Brooke and numerous other new a proto-time lord. Brooke blamed River for a proto-time lord's, H1, murder however discovered it had been another clone. As the deterrent laid siege to Concord Well, River was released to help the defenses and convinced Brooke and the other clones to create a psychic link of the mythic Furies to taunt Covarian with the image of the Fifth Doctor eventually causing Covarian to have a meltdown. River's Vortex Manipulator was used by Brooke to travel back in time to convince Andrew to take the Doctor's place at the bumptious gastropod and she brought the Fifth Doctor back in his TARDIS. Though he was unaware of her identity, River said a quick farewell to him. River left Covarian a prisoner of her clone siblings. Audio, The Furies.